What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a brand new Pokemon. We are rocking out with a Monkey Dory team for you guys today on the casual ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team was also featured and made by Olivia Sama. Thank you so much for making this team. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to their channel. So if you guys want the Pokepace or want to go check out their channel, like I said, link is down in the description below. Huge shout out to them. But like I said, we're using Monkey Dory today. Monkey Dory is a brand new Pokemon, which is a psychic and poison type, and it is on the special attack inside so this team also has chiyu pairing up with monkey dory if you get them both out on this field at the same time with a little bit of tailwind action from her tornadoes these pokemon are going to be able to just dominate the battle but our first pokemon for today's team preview is going to be that tornadoes tornadoes got prankster with the covert cloak rock and tailwind bleak wind storm taunt and sunny day to pop protosynthesis on fluttermane and to make chiyu do even more damage with its fire moves we got Chiyu in our second slot with Beads of Ruin and a Choice Scarf. It's got Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Terror Blast, and Overheat. Really can't go wrong with that moveset with the Choice Scarf. In our third slot is going to be Choice Specs Flutter made with Protosynthesis and then Moon Blast, Dazzle Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Hex, which does double damage up against Pokemon with Status Conditions. So paired up with Monkey Dory. Monkey Dory's got that Sludge Bomb and the Toxic Chain. Should be able to get off some big time poisons, allowing Hex to do massive amount of damage. In our fourth slot, we got the new and improved Rillaboom with Grassy Surge and the Salt Vest as his item, rocking Grassy Glide for first turn priority, Fake Out for flinches, you turn to pivot out and then knock off to take off opposing Pokemon's items. In our fifth slot, we got Milotic over here with Competitive and the Adrenaline Orb. If you guys do not know what the Adrenaline Orb does, if, if this Pokemon is intimidated, it will get a speed boost. So, pretty cool item right there. Very niche item though. But pairing it up with competitive could make it really, really strong. So if we do get intimidated, competitive ability is going to pop alongside with the adrenaline orb, giving us a plus two special attack boost and on top of that, a plus one speed boost. So very niche item, but I really like using it with Milotic. Milotic has Ice Beam alongside with Terror Blast with the Grass Terror type, Recover, and Hydro Pump for its final move. In the final slot is going to be the brand new Pokemon Monkey Dory with the Toxic Chain ability and the Life Orb as its item to make it do as much damage as it possibly can. It's got Psychic, it's got Sludge Bomb for two stat moves, it also has Focus Blast with the Fighting Terror type, and last but not least, it's Rock and Protect. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder, try to showcase Monkey Dory in Regulation E. We're loading into match number one, and I just want to give a huge shout out to all my viewers and all my subscribers. You guys are seriously awesome. My channel has been doing so great with these brand new Regulation E teams. And again, just a huge shout out to everybody who has been tuning in to watch it. But we're going up against a crazy cool team here in match number one. Monkey Dory. Uh... What's that bear called? Okie Dogie and Pheasant Dippity. And then they also have Ogre Pond. So we know exactly who they're bringing, which is kind of hilarious, right? It is definitely kind of funny. But I'm thinking of just straight up leading Tornadus alongside with Roboom and maybe just like pivoting into Monkey Dory. But I want to see Monkey Dory's stats real quick before we get started here. And this thing is hitting like a truck. 153 HP. Speed is rather high with 168. 182 special attack. I love it. I love it a lot. So I'm going to go Tornadus here. I definitely want to lead something I can potentially swap out into. So Monkey Dory. Actually, I could just go Tornadus Monkey Dory. I mean, looking at their typings, Monkey Dory is pretty solid here because all of them are poison, right? They're all poison, which is gorgeous. So having that psychic type is amazing. Except for Ogre Pond, right? Which we would bring probably maybe Rillaboom in the back end to deal with that. Hmm. He's grass and water, so. If it does go mass, we will bring Rillaboom. So I'll go Rillaboom and then final Pokemon. I am gonna end up going in with the Choice Scarf on the Chiyu. Cool. I like that a lot. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But if you guys aren't subscribed already, definitely consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. Like I said, the channel's been doing very good lately. But if you guys want to support me a tad bit extra, consider becoming a member. There should be a link down in the description below, and there should be a join button next to the subscribe button. So if you don't see the join button, just head down the link in the description below to become a member. You get comment perks. I will always respond to your guys' comment if you guys are a member. Also, you guys get a bunch of cool emotes, and you get a cool sub badge. So seriously really does go a long way. But they end up leading Pheasantipity and Monkey Dory. My Monkey Dory is about to slap up on you guys. So from here, I'm just going to go for a Tailwind. I want a lot of speed here. And I'm thinking of just Terrasse. Do I start Terra Fighting? They have a Monkey Dory on the field. 
You know, I'm just gonna go right after Pheasant Dippity. I want this thing going. I want this thing going. So we're not gonna throw ass we're just gonna tail we're gonna take speed, and we're gonna look to just absolutely rip the Pheasant Dippity here. So like I said, I'm Life Orb, this is Stab, it's super effective. Monkey Dory probably hits hard enough to KO. It does, so Monkey Dory's ripping here, match number one. But we get rid of Pheasant Dippity here. And Monkey Dory, what are you going for? Are you going after my Monkey Dory? I'm going to go for a Future Sight, okay. That's still a Future Sight move, and that move is actually really, really strong when it hits. The Future Sight, I believe it takes a couple turns to actually attack, and I think it's like a base 120. I could be wrong, could, but I think it's a base 120 Psychic move, and it hits so hard. So from here, out is going to come you, and... Hmm... I think I'm just going to Bleak Wind Storm, and on top of this, just drop another Psychic. But this time, I'm going to the Monkey Dory slot. Because I'm not too worried about the Okie Dogie. Plus, Okie Dogie might just Terrasalize here. And it doesn't, so I'm going to be doing some damage on the Monkey Dory here. Hitting that thing hard. Hitting that thing hard. Monkey Dory is ripping. Bleak Wind Storm is going to fly. Can you hit somebody? Who are you hitting? You missing both? Come on now. Come on now. You're better than that. You're better than that. He's gonna future sight onto my monkey dory, so he has two future sights going. A little weirder. What's Okie Doki gonna need? He's gonna prop a nice little crunch into me, and that is going to do a massive amount of damage, bringing us down to 13 HP. So from here, I am actually terrified of the future sight, but from here, I think we could pretty much just clean up this match by popping a sunny day and going into a psychic here. The psychic will KO the Okie Doki, and the reason I want to pop a sunny day. I don't want to die to this foresight, and I want to throw out Chi next turn and just pretty much rip the Ogre Bond. Us is going to Terrasalize, which it has a high chance to, but Monkey Dory is just doing work. This match is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Our opponent didn't really have a full team, so we're out here ripping. Life Orb is going to take damage. My Monkey Dory is going to faint out, but that thing is hitting hard. He's hitting hard. The Psychic is now going to finally fly through here, and I think a Future Sight is going to land after this. That's some big time damage. Yep, there's Future Sight, and down goes my Tornado, so, you, so his Monkey Dory's hitting just as hard. I love Future Sight. I really do like that move, especially up against other Pokemon. But out is going to come my Chiyu and my Rillaboom, and we can pretty much just clean up this match, right? I can fake out the Ogre Pond if I want to, and I could go for a Heat Wave. But the thing is, Ogre Pond's going to come out here and probably Terrasalize with its mask, right? Chances are. Correct, that makes the most sense. That Ogre Pond's to come out here. Well spread. Come on. The Beats of Ruin get popping. We get a nice little grassy terrain here. I could go for first turn priority. I already have plenty of speed here. So what I'm thinking here is, do I, what do I choice and do? I choice to a Dark Pulse. Makes the most sense. Or I can just Terra. I'd rather Terra Grass here. We'll Terra Grass and on top of that, we are just going to go for a Grass God to get rid of the Monkey Dory. I know it's not very effective, but it should be able to do enough damage to KO it. Considering it is stab and in the terrain, so we get a nice little boost from it. So from here, I'm just going to terrestrialize my Chiyu into a nice little grass type. Perfect typing going when going up against a Wellspring over the pond, considering they only have grass and water moves. For the most part, right? For the most part, they only have grass and water moves. But like I said, Grassy God will KO. We finish off the Monkey Dory. And now from here, Wellspring over pond is not terrestrializing, which is kind of weird. Dark Pulse is going to fly here and just rip up some damage. Ivy Cudgel comes out here, and we Terrasalize for a good reason. Coming out here soaking that all day. And oh my god, I forgot about the other Future Sight from the Monkey Dory. Ends up hitting my Rillaboom three turns later. That's why Future Sight's so good. It just comes into the slot randomly. Out of nowhere. Because you gotta forget about it. You're like, okay, Future Sight's... Like, it, it just came out of nowhere. But from here, I'll just go for Dark Pulse. Grassy God should be able to finish this one off. I'm surprised he did not end up Terrasalizing. Fine by me. That's fine by me. 1 0 to get things started. Rather easy battle. Let's hop to our second match. Look to have a harder one and still showcase Monkey Dory. Second match is on its way, and this is a little better. Going up against a full team with Ogre Palm. Oh, Ogre Palm. Ogre Pond. I should say the Hearth Flame Mask Ogre Pond. Alongside with the Macha Pokemon, uh, Sinistra? I think it's Sinistra. And then uh, they got Urshifu, Heatran, and then rocking out with Rillaboom and. What is that Pokemon? Golden Go. And Golden Go. How am I playing this one? Who should it go into? Monkey Dory is just a beast. I like Monkey Dory. I like its typing. I like how it can hit hard on a few of these guys. So, do I lead it? Maybe, maybe not. Tornadus could come in here. I definitely want to lead Tornadus. I really want some speed here. And then on top of that, 
we could potentially lead like a little bit. I can fake out turn one. I can really get things set up. Um, what could I do? I think I want Chiyu Monkey Dory. I definitely want Monkey Dory in the back end, but I don't want to lead it. I definitely want Chiyu and Monkey Dory. Who else should I lead here? If no Intimidate Pokemon, competitive can't really get popping. Um, I might just leave Fluttermane here. Fluttermane Tornadus and then bring Chiyu and Monkey Dory in the back end. I can really, I like that. I like that. I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. I'm cool with that. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's let's go back to back here and win our second match. But I like having Monkey Dory in the back end. Pairing it up with Chiyu can make it do a massive amount of damage. Especially if we can get off Tailwind with our Tornadus early on here and have a couple turns of just all that together. So cool with it. I'm cool with it. Let's see who they end up leading. Because Heatran, slight problem, right? Slight problem. We do have the Terra fighting with Focus West, which could rip into Heatran, but if they don't harass them. Let's see who they end up going into. It's going to be Urshifu and Golden Go. The Urshifu and Golden Go come out here, which is uh, a bit scary. A bit scary for sure. Um, we already outspeed, right? Let me see your speed real quick, Buttermane. You should be able to outspeed all these guys. Unless that thing is Choice Scarf. And you are actually rather slow. You are actually a slow little customer. But from here, I'm thinking of just popping a Bleak Wind Storm. And just going, probably just a nice little Shadow Ball into the slot, right? Yeah, I'm cool with that because they might just protect Urshfu. They don't. They leave the Golden Go alone. They leave the Urshfu alone. We are just going to rip into that Pokemon and do some big time damage. Big time damage. And this Urshfu is a dark type Urshfu. It's going to come in here with a Wicked Blow. It's going to just KO my Fluttermane. So I'll take that value all day. I'll take that value all day because I am going to get off of Bleak Wind Storm. Hopefully we land it, correct? We do land it. And this should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. And it's bringing him down to the Focus Ash. So I'll take that all day. I'll take a Fluttermane KO onto the Golden Go for a trade on this. So from here, I'm, do I bring out Monkey Dory? Do I bring out Monkey Dory? Dark type is rather annoying. I might Terrasilize here because if you're going for Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch could really be a problem. Actually, I could just protect and just Bleak Wind Storm again if I want to. I could. I could force a Sucker Punch in this slot. Let's see who they go into. So we go into Monkey Dory. Obviously, I think Chiyu would be the better call, and yeah, it looks like Chiyu would be the better call. That thing is going to Hospitality. So honestly, instead of Tailwinding, I think our speed's already fast enough. I think we just Bleak Wind Storm, and we just Terra, and we uh, Sludge Bomb, right? Hmm. And I actually never got the chance to read what Toxic Chain does, and it's the power... The power of the Pokemon's Toxine may badly. So it has a chance to poison them. So I'm guessing with Sludge Bomb on top of that, we should be able to do a big time amount of damage. But I do have Focus Quest, which I could use, but I'm thinking of just Terrasilizing, just so Sucker Punch doesn't KO me. And we can just go into a nice little Sludge Bomb here. Because Dark Type is super effective up against Psychic, so. I think Monkey Dory with the Terra is going to be a good call. Into Fighting. And Fighting looks sick on him, right? It just looks like it fits him so well. But it's kind of cool how, like, Monkey Dory kind of looks like Urshifu's, like, little cousin, right? <laughs> like, they're both, like, karate animals. One's a karate bear and the other one's a karate monkey. So it's kind of cool how they kind of stayed with the karate aspect of things. But they end up terrestrializing water onto the uh, Sinisha. It was such a cool Pokemon. Like, I love it. I love it so much. I love how they added the healer. And they end up detecting the bear, which is very odd to me. Unless they don't have Sucker Punch. But Sludge Bomb's going to fly through here. It's going to do a massive amount of damage. Do we get a poison off? We don't. We're just not landing poisons. When I versed Pheasant I got absolutely ripped by one. I got absolutely ripped. And this thing ends up dodging an attack and getting off a Trick Room. So that's a bit scarier. Um... I think Bleak Wind Storm's gonna be my play and just a nice little protect, right? Yeah, I'm cool with that. So I protect the Monkey Dory here. Trick Room's a, a little scary, right? We have a Choice Spec Pokemon in the back end. Tornas, we're looking to get some stuff done with you. And he ends up going for a Matcha Gacha. The Matcha Gacha is just like a move that he spews Matcha around and then he recovers HP on top of that. Shouldn't do that much damage to Tornas, only doing 24. And then you get the HP recovery back. So you ain't really getting much here. I think you would go after Monkey Dory, right? But that's perfect. That's fine. 
That's fine. But the thing is, Urshifu could have just hit through my protect, so it didn't really matter. But I just went to protect it, just in case maybe like a strength sap came through from the matcha Pokemon. But that's perfect time for us. Bleak Wind Storm, we end up being slower than him now, which is huge. And we end up picking up the KO. The double KO, which is beautiful. So now it turns to a 2v1, and Monkey Dory is just cooking. Heatran, that's fine by me. You already used Terror, so I think we just now... I guess go into a Bleak Wind Storm? <laughs> I don't really know. Actually, that would be the best time to swap it out, to be honest. In the Chiyu, just to get that boost. And then go into a, uh, a Focus Blast here. How much damage is this? 120. It is 70% accuracy, which is a little, little rough, but we're going to go for it. Because if we land this, that's uh, base... What would that be? Base 140, because we got the stab with the terror type. And then on top of that, Shiyu with the Beads of Ruin. So this should KO if we do land it. And he ends up going for a healing, which we should be able to soak, right, Monkey Dory? Yeah, you do. All day, baby. All day. Of course you get burned, but you are special attacking, so we kind of just need you to land this, right? And you land it. Awesome. Cool. Monkey Dory ripping. Focus Blast, 70 accuracy. It should be able to KO. Oh, yeah. This thing is a goner. Life Force boost and everything. Crazy strong move right there. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Monkey Dory is insanely strong on the special attack inside. Let's go hop into our third and final and look for a perfect record for you guys. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Third and final match. We're going up against a really cool team featuring a bunch of new and returning Pokemon. They got... Sinistra on the team, they got Snorlax, they got Landorus, they got Vickavolt, Clefairy, and Konamo'o. So the only Pokemon that's not new or returning is going to be Landorus, so this is a really cool team. One thing that I have to watch out for is going to be Clangor's Soul on the Konamo'o. They might want to set it up with Clefairy. So from here, I'm thinking of just leading like Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane could be pretty good here as a lead. I don't think we need too much speed considering they are a rather slow team. So I'm going to go Fluttermane and on top of that, go... Maybe Milo here. If you're going to lead Intimidate, I would love that. I would love that. So I'm going to do that. Bring Monkey Dory in the back end alongside with Chiyu. I'm cool with that. I really do like that. I'm really hoping they lead the landers because Intimidate will boost my Milo tick like crazy. I get the plus two special attack boost from Competitive. And then on top of that, Adrenaline Orb will give us a speed boost. So this could be big. This could be big. Come on, yo. Go land up. Be like, yo, I want to Intimidate. Just go landers. Make it simple. Make it sweet. Make it simple, make it sweet here. If not, Milo's still going to be a pretty solid option. Let's see, show me Lando. Let's go, let's go, my boy. My boy going Lando. We love it. So a perfect little read here before the match even really started. Attack gets dropped. Attack gets dropped, but check this out. Bang, competitive. Plus two on special attack. And wait a minute, items popping at the same time. Give me that adrenaline orb. Give me a nice little speed boost. Hot start for your boy. Hot start for your boy. So from here, I'm just going to go Shadow Ball and... Do I Terra Grass? I could Terra Grass. Macha got just a little scary, but... I feel as this Ice Beam with no Terra is just fine. But we love it. We love it. We love it. Nice, nice start for us. So they have Trash Slides in the land out. That's totally fine. Into what type of Street Flying. Okay, cool. Ice Beam still going to be super effective. I don't know if it's going to KO, but it still should do a nice chunk of damage. The good thing we didn't Terra Grass here. This Terra Blast is coming out. You are Choice Scarf. That is a little scary. You're going to go after Milo. So good thing we didn't Terra. It's doing a nice chunk of damage to us. We are end up going, going to throw a Shadow Ball into the Matcha spot. And how much damage are we doing here? We're just dumping on it. Get it on at my face. Get it on out of here. So I expected one of them to Terrastalize here. That's why I kind of send special attacking or uh, super effective shots into each slot. And Ice Beam comes out here and finishes that thing off. Come on, man. This is too easy today. It's too easy today. Monkey Dory killing it match number one and match number two. And Milo is just thriving here in match number three. Big time Intimidate Reen. The Vicka Bolt comes out here. Like I said, they have really slow Pokemon. And Shiny Vicka Bolt looks amazing. That, that like silver slash gray with that light green. A touch of green is just perfect. And Snorlax also comes out here. Snorlaxy lax. The laxy lax of snorts. And from here, I'm choosing the Shadow Ball. And I am just going to Shadow Ball and Wickable and could recover some HP. I do a speed boost. I might just nah I'm just gonna throw a nice little hydro pump at the Snorlax slot. 
The Shadow Ball comes out here. I could have Terrasilized Milotic. Because the Thunderbolt is probably coming in that slot. But I don't need to. I think we're fine. I think we just save a Terror. I missed my Hydra Pump, though. Come on, Milo. No, he ends up going for a Flash Cannon, which we survived because that's not Stab. And a Belly Jump comes out here. That's a little scary, right? That That's a tad bit scary. But I think we're fine. I really do think we're fine. Wow, they messed up on the EVs too, so they don't pop the Citrus Berry. That could be a... That might just be catastrophic. You don't get your Citrus Berry, now I probably KO you with Hydra Pump. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul, but Monkey Dory and Milotic really killing it in today's video. Loving it, loving it. And Milotic's just such a cool Pokemon design. Like, the scales on his tail and the colors are just so perfect, right? Just, this is an all-time great Pokemon. The Shadow Ball now flies, finishes off Fickavolt. Surprised he didn't go into a Thunderbolt or anything into my Milo. And Hydro Pump, can he land? Yes, sir. Nice little land there. Probably takes out some rocks. Yep. Like I said, they messed up on the EV, so Belly Jump did not take it out below half. And we take that match easily with a nice little sweep. Milo take a flutter me, cleaning everything up. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0. Quick little 3 0, I should say, with Monkey Dory carrying the way in match number one. And in match number two, and then in match number three, Milotic really stole the show. I saw the lander, so I was just like, I might as well go into Milotic just in case they want to intimidate turn one. And that's exactly what they did. We got the competitive boost for plus two special attack. Then we got that adrenaline orb for that plus one speed. And then it was just game over from there. Anything Milotic was touching was just dying on impact. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.